Hello, sweet angels. It is nine in the morning. I have a new microphone and we're gonna do some thrifting. Well, the thrifting has been done. I'm gonna show you what I got in the mug today. It's just a little black coffee. I don't know about you, but this year I have been enamored with thrift bundles. Thrift bundling is a style of video. It's particularly popular on TikTok and it's a, it's a job as well. Someone will hire someone else to put together a bundle of clothes that they have found thrifting for them. And the thrifter will charge a thrifter's fee on top. Typically I'd say it's around six to eight items. The customer sends over a mood board or a Pinterest board before, and then the buyer goes and picks up some items that fit that style. And I just love watching them. I think they're so cool. And I thought for autumn, why don't I try and put one together for myself? The thrift bundle videos that I've watched are often from America or like shopped for in America by American creators. And America has an amazing thrifting system. Not only have they got like the massive warehouse style Goodwills, they've also got stuff like Buffalo Exchange. There is a lot of availability of clothing. So obviously also they had all the mass consumption that still goes on, but you know, probably started in the 1990s. There are just so many clothes available so cheap. I have not found that in the UK. So I did a lot of this shopping on Vinted and on Depop. I just prefer thrifting on the internet. Forgive me, forgive me. So while I think I got a pretty good deal on most things, I wouldn't say anything was like a steal. Also, can I just say, the handle snapped off this mug, I think I dropped it. And the other day I came home and Jack had glued it all back together. <laughs> yeah, love that boy. So let's go through the bundle. If there's one thing you would know from going through my wardrobe, is that I don't need any more tops. I am content with the number of tops I have. They serve their purpose. The only thing I could possibly need is some vests. So imagine how thrilled I was when on Vinted, I came across this little number here. This texture on this top has a really specific name. I can't remember it off the top of my head. I think it's crap, that's it, like crap. And um, yeah, I just really like the look of them. I've saved a few of these kind of tops on my Pinterest boards. If you know me, then you know that I have a Pinterest board, an Instagram saved board, and now a TikTok board or a TikTok folder. I don't know what they call them, collection, that's it. Just full of outfits and pieces I like, cool fashion things and crept vests was one of the things. And so this is so cute. This is also from Wallace, which I think is such a score. Wallace is quite a nice brand in the UK. I haven't tried this on yet. So when we see it in the video, it'll be the first time I've seen it as well. And I'll probably write my thoughts on screen. But yeah, so far so good. And I'll also put the price on screen as well. I remember it being quite affordable. So I have a fantasy in my head. I can wear slip dresses, but unfortunately I'm quite a pair. So a lot of the ones that are available just in the stores don't fit me very well. It's not a case of, oh, it doesn't suit you. It just genuinely doesn't fit on me because I have a smaller top half than I do a bottom half. So slips just get stuck or they're gaping at the sides. You can see my boobies. So we tend not to lean towards slips. However, I thought, you know what? Vintage slips, maybe it'll work. So I picked up two. I actually tried to buy three because there is the nicest olive green one. It's the most coquette thing you've ever seen. It's got like this white lace and this pink bow. I will link it below if it's still available. I can't remember why my transaction didn't go through, but if you want it, please buy it. It's so beautiful. It's St. Michael, which is the M&S brand. So when I'm searching for slips, I look for St. Michael's and I look for Brettles. And this one is Brettles. I realized the holding mic thing might not work long term. <laughs> I'm gonna need to clip it. But she's incredibly cute. She's just white. A little too big for me though. I will show you when it's on. So I might resell this. I will leave my vintage link below and obviously you get first dibs. So yeah, I'm not sure about this dress and whether I'm going to keep it. And the other thing I would say about it is the fabric is very much plastic based. It is 100% something like a polyester, acrylic. And you can tell because it's incredibly shiny. And I wonder if that's just gonna be really staticky on me. I am amazed that this was designed as a nighty and yet it's made of so much plastic. Like surely in your bed sheets, like in the 80s, I would like make all this static. I don't know. On my slip hunt, I did buy a second one and this one, I'm obsessed with. This one is a brand called Je Ivan Nordly. This might have been an eBay purchase. I love that it's double lined and I love the fabric, the embroidery on the fabric. Well, you'll see. Like, I'm sorry, but wow. But like, how gorge is that? So she is very long. So I'm gonna take her to the tailor and I love stitches and bow. They are the best tailor I found in East London so far. And believe me, I've tried a lot, but I just love the fabric. At the moment, it's a little bit big on my arms. So I think I should just take it to my tailors and be like, hi ladies, how do I make this fit me a bit better? It's also very long. And when I sent a video of me wearing it into the girls group chat, they said, well, why don't you leave it that long? So you'll just wear it with heels. But I actually think 
for a nice little delicate shoe you do need it to be slightly shorter like I don't want even in heels it to be trailing on the floor and I'd like to be able to wear it every day I'd like to be able to wear it with a little t-shirt underneath with a little shirt over the top little jackets anyway I just love it and I adore the color I love how I was like I'm looking for autumn I don't know how autumnal this particular dress is, but she is very precious and I couldn't resist. We're tearing through this, guys. I'm going to show you two fails next, and then we have some successes at the end. There we go. I bring you on a journey. I saw this jacket on Depop and I had to have her. It's Ralph Lauren Polo Sport. Oh my God, it's just a strange story. It's reversible, but the photos were taken kind of like they are on Vestia Collective, if you've ever used that site, where they remove the background. And these are two colors, navy and cream, that do not pick up particularly well on digital cameras. They set the white balance off a bit funny. It thinks it's black, it thinks it's white. It just can't gauge what these colors are. So the colors looked a bit weird online. And the background was removed, which meant I had no like things to build evidence off of, no information to work out if it was actually navy and cream and the lady did say that the cream side was slightly stained but you couldn't see it in the photos and she said it was a large there were no photos of her wearing it so I sent her a nice message being like hello love you you're the best I mean I didn't say all of that but I said do you have any photos of you wearing it and she did so she sent me one and it looked fine so I bought it this was 80 pounds so actually it was listed for 130 but this is where I started getting a bit suspicious listed for 130 we negotiated it down to 80 and then she went and i'm gonna chuck in a joe malone candle with it and she was not lying if you're curious english pear and freesia but i just instantly went this feels a little scammy so i wonder maybe if i've actually bought something that's not vintage it's off of one of those sites which does the replicas then maybe this is also a replica candle but it looks pretty legit. Like there's no spelling mistakes on this, but like, why would you send me a candle? An expensive candle, these are 50 pounds. I don't understand it basically. Maybe she was moving house. Maybe she's rich, who knows? So let's talk about the jacket. I can't remember if I mentioned, but it's a reversible jacket, which was a huge sell for me in two colors I wear all the damn time. And also like pockets on both sides, so cute. But the cream side is a little bit stained. I'm gonna take it to the dry cleaner and see if they can work some magic. The other issue is it is a men's large. It's big on me. And annoyingly, slightly too small for Jack, which is infuriating because I will always keep an item if Jack can wear it as well. So it's this weird size. It's almost like, I don't know if you've ever bought products from Japanese or Chinese brands, but they tend to size a little bit smaller because the population is a little bit more petite, I think. I hope I'm not making a generalization there. It's just like I've, something I've noticed. Like if you buy from Comme de Garçons, you kind of have to up a size but obviously please correct me if I'm wrong it feels like good quality and it feels like vintage it's heavy so yeah I think I will be wearing it a bit but if it if I can't make it work then it will be put on my vintage this was an eBay fail and it is this bag here you might think Lucy why is this a fail this is only a fail because this is brand new there is no question to me this is brand new I just don't love it as much in person either I think it's just feels plasticky. I don't even know if it is plastic. However, I would love for it to go to a new home. So if you'd be interested, I will be listing this. I have to leave everything downstairs. Oh my God, also, if you're also thinking about your autumn wardrobe and maybe updating it and working out how to wear what you already have, I've put together a trend report on my Substack. I posted it on the 7th of September just for subscribers only. So it's locked right now, but it unlocks in a week. So if you're watching this past the 21st of September, Go on, enjoy. I've broken down all of the key trends that I think are gonna be huge over autumn and probably winter as well. The things I like about them, I've done a visual guide, is thorough. So yeah, if that sounds like your cup of tea, I will leave the link below. And then I also popped my wish list of stuff that I've been like window shopping online on my blog. Sorry, there's lots of places to be. So if you're actually looking to buy some clothes, I will link that as well. Now let's talk successes. One of the trends I talk about in the trend report is tiny pointy shoes. They're very popular right now. I really love the trend. I think those little vintage pointed shoes are so cute and they can elevate any outfit. Oftentimes they're kitten heels, they're just great. So what did I find? A pair of pointed kitten heels. So I am not one to buy shoes secondhand. If I'm honest, it gives me the ick, but I'm telling myself if I just sanitize them heavily, it's probably fine. So the award for the best secondhand seller goes to this lady, Pippa, for sending me a little card. Hi Lucy, thank you for buying these mules. I hope you have many happy times wearing them. Love Pippa. <laughs> Warmed my heart when I opened this box. Anyway, without further ado, let me show you the shoes. How cute is that? 
and it hits on all of the trends that I really wanted to try out, but I wouldn't necessarily want to spend money, especially on fast fashion, trying out. So these guys are from Principles originally. They have been worn, but I don't think very much. The heel's still in very good condition and they embody three trends that I'm just obsessed with. One being this like pointed toe vintage mule. The other is suede. Oh my God, so excited to wear a bit of suede. And the other is contrast stitching. Um, and there's asymmetry in there as well. I just think they're so cool. I can imagine being in an outfit all day and thinking, oh, I've got to go out now, like I've got an event. I don't know, I just don't want to change. I'm feeling lazy. I'm just sliding these on and looking so cool. And they were like 12 pounds. I also got another pair of shoes. So something that has lurked on my mood board all summer and going into autumn are mules. Like clog-ish style, often a wooden heel. I've just wanted some for a really long time. I specifically wanted some suede ones, but unfortunately I couldn't find any. However, I did find these. These are Paloma wool. If you know me, you know I have a Paloma wool bag. I love it very much. I also, I say I have a Paloma wool bag. I haven't seen it since we moved, so I've been hunting and wishing it would come back, but I just don't know where it's gone. I just think they're like a perfect transitional piece. Obviously you can't wear them in the rain. Like I'm not dumb. I live in England. I know that these are not the most versatile item in the world. And again, they look just like I will get a lot of wear out of them. They're a low heel, chunky. This leather is nice and soft. It's clearly been broken in. I just think they're the right amount of dressed up and casual. And also to own another item of Paloma wool is just great. <gasps> oh my God, I forgot one of my items. Okay, this is the best thing I picked up in this whole thing. So we really have saved the best two items till last. Here is just one side of this cardigan. I've had a very thorough selection of knitwear for a while, but actually I don't end up wearing all of it because some of it is just not in styles that are very versatile. So I need to go through and actually like clear it out a bit. And I told myself I wasn't gonna buy any new knitwear. I didn't buy any last year. I was like, I'm not gonna buy any this year. That's not true, I bought one last year. This cute little cardigan came across my feed and I just had to have her. She's from a brand called Halloween by Magnificio de Verona. I'm like, look at these buttons. I actually showed this on my TikTok, so I was so excited. And then there's all these different kinds of embroidery. Oh, I just love it. It's like a perfect grandma cardigan. Finally, finally, I got a piece of jewelry. Statement necklaces are huge right now. And I found just the cutest statement necklace. Also, I just love that it came in the box. I actually bought another chunky necklace that wasn't as chunky as I hoped cry but it came in the box as well and it reminded me like my mum keeps all of her jewelry in the boxes that came in stuff she's had for 30 years she'll still keep it in the box and they're all like piled up in her chest of drawers so funny here is our little necklace so it looks like a stone it's quite heavy i think it's glass and it's on this velvet chain i guess but like suede velvet it's not shiny i don't know what i'm saying but how beautiful is this how good will this look on again like just a plain outfit we're talking just a white shirt maybe some black jeans or like some blue jeans and i just want to jazz it up a bit so pretty and there are so many of these on vintage at the moment the very spanish holiday core i really want a small beaded necklace as well there's a particular image i found and i looked high and low for a vintage one i couldn't find one so i might end up getting one on etsy but yeah i love this and i'm thrilled i found it this is the sprinkles on the cake i think i'm gonna wrap it up here let me know what you think of the clothes i will leave my vintage link below i don't know when i will list the items i can't lie i will leave my vintage below i will leave my trend report below and i will leave my wish list below all available for you to have a little browse of and i hope it inspires you for autumn and i hope you've enjoyed this thrift bundle video let me know if i should do this again i don't know I think it really depends on how much I wear the items ultimately. If I find I'm actually not getting very much wear out of much of this, then obviously I won't do it again. Like the video if you liked it and subscribe. If you're new here, hi, I'm Lucy. Thank you so much and have an amazing rest of your day. I'm gonna finish my coffee now.